muggles. So it's the end of March and almost the start of April, which means that in Japan, or specifically in Tokyo, the sakura are starting to bloom. I think now the flowers, some parks they are fully bloom, but mostly they're kind of like just budding or half open. And I'm gonna go see the flowers in Yoyogi Park today with my friends, so I thought that I would do something a little bit special. Because I've been watching um, some other YouTubers who do the crazy eyebrow things, I wanted to try it. <laughs> I'm not very good at makeup, but my, I thought that I can at least try. <laughs> and I collected these from outside of my house. These are actually real sakura. I got it from the tip of the tree, so it wouldn't hurt the tree that much. But they're already kind of dying since I plucked them, but maybe if you can see that that just the Japanese cosmetics aren't really that good. And most Japanese people use Korean stuff. I will use my MAC foundation. I don't really know that much about foundation, but again, in Japan, most foundations have that kind of orangey yellowy base which is okay for lots of skin tones but for me I have really pinky skin and I need something pinky which is hard to get so I just use MAC because it's well American so I usually use something different but I just bought some makeup from Colourpop most of the makeup I'll be using today is from Colourpop so I got this Give it to me straight palette. Idea where my eyebrow is. Okay. Right. I didn't think this through at all. I guess we're gonna need some scissors. And try and find the smaller ones that do not look dead. Try this one. I wouldn't advise using eyelash glue on your face anywhere apart from your eyelashes. It's not even very good for your for your um, eyelids. But in this special case, we're gonna stick stuff through our eyebrows. So let's see. Let's take this one. I want it to look like I have a uni brow. Most importantly, make sure that you wash them before you put them on your face. I forgot to mention that. Unless you want bugs on your face. some nude colors I'm gonna use some purple I like this one, it's called TMI It's a little bit dark but I'm gonna put some eyeliner on later anyway Mascara Eyelashes, I'm gonna use these Sexy Eye by Dolly Wink Let's apply some glitter Okay, next our bangs 
or fringe as we like to call it in England. We're gonna do the long wispy ones. So you wanna take like only half of your hair in the bottom. wear a hat from Swan Kiss because actually even though it's spring here it's still kind of cold the bangs you can separate them by hand and make them more fluffy like that okay let's go see some flowers <laughs> it's a really beautiful day and I'm gonna go meet my friends at Yoyogi Park these eyebrows are surprisingly comfortable. I thought that they'd be really itchy, but they're not. We're in Yoyogi Park and it is busy. But if you walk down towards the lake, it becomes a little bit more sparse and you can find a place to fit your tarp. Kind of like all of nothing. They're so yeah, they're like, the, it's all on the sticks. Oh, they look like this guy. There's a lot of people here, but I'm so able to enjoy the sakura. If you walk towards the end of the park, you're able to find... The trees are a little bit more sparse, but it's much easier to find a space. My eyebrows are dying, but I actually like it better now they're a bit dry. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of my eyebrows? Oh, I like your eyebrows. They're, they're really interesting. From an art perspective, What do you think? It's starting to wilt. I know, right? One side of the cloth is metal. Cheers. Everyone's drinking wine, but I'm just drinking um, ginger ale. Okay, <laughs> so. We found a friend yes, named Mok. Mok. <laughs> 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 Hunter is really fun, but I ripped off my eyebrows because I got itchy. They, mil they wilted. <laughs> they wilted. There are so 